The Bluebird. It is Christmas Eve tonight. Tittle and Middle are dancing to the music playing from a radio. Tittle and his younger sister Middle are very close siblings. Their family is very poor, so they do not have any Christmas decorations or a special dinner. But Tittle and Middle are still happy, dancing and singing along to the music. Suddenly, they heard a knock on the door. They opened the door, and an old lady with a walking stick was standing there. Good evening. Do you kids know where a bluebird is? A bluebird? The bird we own is a usual dove. It's not blue. Oh, okay. I heard a happy singing voice. So I thought that a bluebird might be here, because a bluebird is a bird that brings peace and happiness to people. The old lady looked very disappointed. Middle asked, "Why are you looking for a bluebird?" To tell you to the truth, I am a witch. I want to show a bluebird to some sick children. Oh. I have an idea. Could you two please go look for one? Tittle and Middle were very surprised. How do we look for a bluebird? The old lady gave Tittle a pointy hat with a large gem attached, and Middle a bird cage. This hat is very special. When you spin the gem, it will take you to different worlds. Look for a bluebird there, and when you find it, put it inside that cage. Okay, let's go, Middle, to look for a bluebird. Yes, Tittle. Tittle took Middle's hand and spun the gem. When they opened their eyes, they were in a quiet forest. Across the street, they saw a house. That looked familiar to them. Oh, that house is—is is our grandpa's house? Middle stuttered loudly. They have arrived to the country of memories. When Tittle and Middle entered the house, their grandparents, who had supposedly died a few years ago, were rocking on chairs. Welcome, you two. We have been waiting for you. Their grandparents embraced them in a strong hug. In this country of memories, when you think about someone who has died, they come back to life. Really? Then did my canary die last year in this world? Asked Tittle. Of course. Look that way. Tittle's gaze followed the direction his grandmother's outstretched finger and found a canary, perched inside the birdcage on top of the windowsill. The canary was so beautiful, with deep blue feathers. Grandma, can we keep this canary? I think this is the bluebird we are looking for. Sure, we don't mind. Take the canary with you. Grandma took out the canary from the cage, and placed it into the cage Middle was holding. However, as soon as Tittle and Middle left the country of memories, the canary vanished from the cage. The bluebird disappeared. I think the canary can only live in this country of memories. Tittle. And middle, span the gem once again.
to continue their journey. The country they arrived in next was the country of night. In the flower field upon the moonlight, there were many bluebirds flying around. Tittle and Middle became very excited and chased around the birds. Hey, Middle, look, I caught one. Me too. We should catch more for Mom and Dad. After a while, their bird cage was full with many birds. However, when they arrived in a place where the moonlight could not reach, the birds disappeared again. Let's go, Middle, to find a real blue bird. Tittle took Middle's hand and span the gem on the hat. This time, they arrived to Country of Peace. The country was full of peace and happiness. There was a man munching on delicious food, a woman choosing a dress to buy in a store. Even the workers look so happy, said Tittle. Hey, look, Tittle. There is a lady over there who looks like our mom. The lady walked over to them. Then she hugged them tightly, kissing on their cheeks, whispering, Mother's happiness is just being with their children. However, in this country of peace, there was still no blue bird. Since everyone is very peaceful and happy, the blue bird, the carrier of peace, wasn't of need to the people here. Tittle, middle, wake up, it's morning. Hearing their mother's voice, they both woke up in their bed. Why are we in bed? They were looking for a blue bird. How did they end up asleep in their bed? Hey, Tittle, look, the blue bird. What? My dove has blue feathers. What has happened? It is so strange. The blue bird chirped happily. We finally found a blue bird. Yes, we finally did it. The bluebird had always been at our house. Tittle and Middle had searched for a bluebird through many worlds, but the bluebird had been with them from the beginning. The mother opened the door and entered the room. There is an old lady at the door who wants to meet you two. She wants to borrow your blue dove. Tittle took the birdcage and opened the door. The old lady looked very similar to the witch they saw last night. My grandchild is sick, so I want to show him that blue dove. Yes, sure. This bird brings peace and happiness to everyone. Your grandchild will be recovered soon. Tittle gave the cage with blue dove inside to the old lady. It was true that Bluebird brings peace to the people. The boy recovered from the sickness the next day. However, the blue dove flew away after healing the boy. Middle sadly said, Our bird is gone. It's okay. It will come back. It's our bird. If it doesn't come back home, then let's go look for it again. Tittle smiled at Middle. Then, the two looked up in the sky from the window, gazing into the deep blue sky. <laughs>